In this video, we're going to guide you through setting up Karma for the first time and also setting up the demo content and setting up some basic settings on your website. Um, so I'm going to hop over to a demo site. Um, <clears throat> and this is what your site's going to look like after we import the demo content. Um, so you'll see we have a home page. We've got a gallery page. Uh, this shows all the different content types that you can use for gallery. Um, it's got short codes, so e the short codes are broken down into sections. Um, so these are just be for your use. You can copy and paste. Um, it's got a blog page and also a contact page. Um, so by the end of this video, you'll be able to easily set this up through the uh, XML content. Okay, so I'm just going to close out of this site. Um, <clears throat> okay, now the site that we're on right now is a local installation of WordPress. It's running uh, locally on my computer and it's a completely fresh installation. Um, okay, so the first step to installing Karma is to download the files from ThemeForest. Um, <clears throat> and once you do that, you're gonna get a zip file and you're just gonna wanna unzip that file. Okay, and once you unzip it, it's gonna um, give you this folder. And within the folder, this is all the various files that come with Karma. Um, so you'll see we've got 3D sliders. This is where all the 3D slider files are held. Artwork. This is where all the design files are held. Um, demo content. There's an XML file in here, in here, and we're going to go over that in a minute. Um, Karma. This is the actual theme itself. If you wanted to manually install the theme, um, Karma child theme. This is a child theme that we provide. Um, again, if you wanted to manually ins install it, you can use that folder. Um, then we have to these two zip files right here. This is what we're going to be using. We have the Karma child theme and we also have Karma. Um, these are both the themes that you can install through the WordPress dashboard. Um, and then also the license just gives you some licensing information and the user manual. This is an HTML file that you can open up in your web browser and uh, provide you with some steps. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now that we have the main package from ThemeForest unzipped. We're going to go back to our dashboard and we're going to click on appearance and themes and then we're going to click on install themes and then we're going to click upload. All right now we click browse and you're just going to want to locate the folder that you just unzipped. Um, so ours is on our desktop so we're just going to open up the folder um, and then you're going to want to locate the Karma uh, zip file. So you'll see it right here, karma.zip. And that's the theme, the actual theme itself. Um, so we click on that and click open. And then install now. Okay, uh, theme installed successfully. So we're going to click activate. <clears throat> and uh, you'll see it says Karma is now activated. Uh, the custom options panel is located under appearance site options. Um, <clears throat> so just a few things that you'll notice different. Um, now that Karma is activated, you'll see over here under appearance, there's this new site options section, and there's also a new sidebar section. Um, the site options, this is the uh, custom options panel that allows you to control um, a vast majority of all the different settings on your website. Um, and then the sidebars section is uh, where you can create sidebars and you can later on assign those to different pages. Um, so we're not going to get into too much detail um, with these different options um, in this video. We're going to cover that in a later video. Um, the purpose of this video is just to kind of get the website up and running with the demo content. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the next step is to import the demo content. <clears throat> um, so to do so, you're going to click on Tools and Import. And then you're going to want to click on WordPress. And uh, we don't have the importer installed. Um, if you do, you'll just skip this screen. Um, but if you, if you do need to install it like we do, uh, you just simply click Install Now. Okay, uh, successfully installed the plugin. Now we're going to choose Activate Plugin and Run Importer. Okay, and uh, now this is the screen that would come up if you already had the importer installed. Um, so when you click on tools and import and then WordPress and that's how you get to this screen. Um, <clears throat> okay, now we're going to want to browse for the XML file. So we again, we click browse. Um, and then again, we just want to locate the folder that we unzipped. So ours is on our desktop. 
And within that folder, you'll see there's a demo content folder. So we're going to open that up. And then you'll see there's an XML file in there. So we'll choose that and click open. And then upload file and import. Okay, and uh, now it's telling us, it's asking us um, who we want to assign the posts to. Um, so for now, we're just going to do admin. And then we just want to make sure that we check the box that we download and import file attachments. Okay, we'll choose submit. And uh, depending on the speed of your server, you know, it might take a few minutes, um, but it shouldn't be too long. Um, okay, it says all done. Um, so now our content is imported. Um, now we're, if we go to our site and refresh, um, you'll see it's starting to take shape a little bit, uh, but we still have some things we need to do. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go to uh, back to the dashboard and click on settings and reading. And uh, for our front page, we're going to want to choose a static page. So we just check this box right here. And for front page, we're going to choose home. And post page, we're going to choose blog. Okay, we're going to save the changes. Um, <clears throat> we're also going to change our permalink settings. Um, this is the URL that, that gets shown uh, up in the address bar. Um, so we recommend changing this so that it's more uh, user friendly and you can easily link people to uh, different sections of your site. Um, so we click on settings and permalinks and by default it's going to have the default structure. Uh, we're going to click custom structure and type in uh, post name so forward slash percentage sign post name and then another percentage sign and save changes. Um, <clears throat> Okay, and now we're going to go into the uh, site options panel. Um, so appearance and site options, and uh, we're just gonna we'll just choose a different color scheme just so you, so you can see. So if you want to change your color scheme, you just click styling options, and then you just you just click your color and make sure you save your changes. Um, <clears throat> okay, a few different things that we have to set up. Um, we have to set up our homepage slider category. Um, so if we click on home page settings and uh, right here it says jQuery slider post category so this is the this is the posts that are going to get pulled into the jQuery slider so we're going to choose home page slider and save changes um, <clears throat> and then just one more thing that we have to do just for the basic settings is uh, select the blog page so we're going to go ahead and click blog settings and right here um, blog page, we're going to choose uh, blog from the drop down list and save changes. Okay, next up, we're going to um, activate the navigation. So we click on appearance and menus. And uh, you'll see after you import the demo content, you already have three navigations that we've provided for you. So you have footer, main, and top toolbar. Um, so all we have to do to activate the main navigation is right over here under theme locations you just choose the main navigation from the drop down list and click save and we're going to come back here and refresh um, <clears throat> and you'll see that uh, you know we have our uh, demo site um, so the home page is set up this is the jQuery slider um, it's pulling in from the post category that we specified um, <clears throat> we have our short codes you know all our various short codes. Uh, we have our blog section, um, a contact page. Um, so you'll see it's a it's a nice little uh, structure that you can use. Um, so just a couple more things that we'll set up, and then uh, we'll cover the rest of everything else in the other videos. Um, so for the gallery page, uh, we just have to choose what category to pull from. So we're going to go back to the dashboard and click on pages, and then we're going to click on gallery. Okay, and uh, if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's this portfolio category box. So we just choose the category that we want to pull from. So we're going to choose gallery and we're going to update. And if we come back and refresh, uh, you'll see that the uh, gallery now pulls in. And uh, in, in future videos, we're going to cover how to add new gal gallery items and things like that. Um, a couple more things we'll set up. We'll set up the footer navigation and the top toolbar navigation. And uh, that should about do it. Um, <clears throat> so we click back to our dashboard and we click on appearance and widgets. And uh, right here, you'll see all the various sidebars. 
um, listed on the right hand side. These are the, the widget regions or sidebar regions. Um, so to for the toolbar, um, we're going to drag a custom menu in there. So right over here we get the custom menu widget and just drag it into the left side toolbar. And we don't have to worry about a title because it's not going to get displayed. And we just want to select our menu. So we're going to choose top toolbar navigation and hit save. And I'll just come back and refresh. And you'll see that we now have the uh, top toolbar navigation. And the similar process for the footer navigation. So we just have to scroll down. And you'll see down at the bottom, footer navigation right side. Um, so again, we're just going to grab the custom menu widget. And we're going to click and drag and drop it into the footer navigation area. Uh, then we just want to choose footer navigation from the drop down list and save. And if we come back and refresh, uh, you'll see that the footer navigation is now in place. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, as you can see, very quickly and easily, you have a nice uh, starting point for your website. Um, you know, we provided the different page templates for you just so you can kind of give you an idea and give you a nice little head start uh, for building out your site. Um, so please follow the rest of the videos and we'll uh, walk you through um, how to set up all the different aspects of your new website. Alright, I hope this was helpful and uh, please stay tuned.